This is a defibrillator pad from uh, Lifelines Reviver AED right here. I'm just going to go over it a little bit to show you what it's all about. This is the adult electrode pad right here. If you look at it, it shows you uh, things about it. It says, one, you press this button on the defibrillator. Two, you open the package. Three, you peel it back. Four, you place it on the victim right here you know it shows you where to place the pads right here so it's really 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 beneficial to have this right here that's one thing that i like about uh the lifeline by defib tech they're very simple instructions to help you save someone's life so this is the pad right here and if you look on the back the back i mean it shows you like it gives you instructions you know about the pad it, it tells you about it caution do not open until required for reuse because there's a gel inside and i'm going to open it up for you in a second and show you the gel and if you open this up it actually dries up over time so you want to keep this closed airtight you know don't want it to be damaged because it will dry up the gel and therefore may probably make it ineffective in saving someone's life. Okay, so uh, this right here, if you look on the back, it shows you when the pad actually expires right here. This pad right here actually already expired. Okay, so the, one of the things with uh, expired pads, you want to replace them before they expire because their expiration date is on there. So this expiration date's you know, it's from DefibTech, and they guarantee that this pad will be fresh up until this date. After this date, they are not liable, and you should replace the pad. Check out the description uh, for more information about that. Um, so this is the pad right here, and then so it gives you that information right there, and then it shows you the model number up here, DDP100. That's the adult uh, electro pad. So now we're going to open it up, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside, okay? All right, so you're going to take it right here, and you're just going to open it up at the top, and you're going to pull out the pad. And it pulls out, and the cable's actually long. And this thing right here stays connected to it. See, the, the cable comes through there right here. And so I think they do this in order for... Uh, the person who's actually using the device will have instructions right in front of them so they can read this while they're adhering the pad to the victim. So I'm going to open up the pad. And so there it is right here. And it says it's pretty self-explanatory. You take this pad, put it right there, this pad right there. And you peel it off. Okay. We're going to peel this off. This is an electrode pad right here. This is metal, like a sheet metal under here that actually de delivers the jolt. It's really sticky, like look at that. I just barely touched it and it's sticking to my hand. And that's what you want it to be. You, you know, even though it's past expiration date, it still has adhesion right here, which is good, which you know, you know that you're getting a quality product. Now you want to adhere this to the person's body, you know, to make sure everything's intact so it can deliver the jolt when you need to. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other pad. And you're gonna place it in the right area for to deliver the jolt and that's the, the defibrillator pad if you have any questions please let me know uh look at the description page for uh description below for more uh information and uh thanks a lot let me know if you have any questions